Hello and welcome everybody to another 7 Daily Sins Grand Cross video. Today we will be going over Wing King's team with the new edition of Golden Wings Elaine. So this video will be a breakdown of how Elaine plays in PvP. Is she worth adding to the team? How is she played? Is she better in the back as a passive? We're going to be going all over that today and more in this video. So right now we are going to start her off in the front line to try to show her off. So I have a standard King team build right here. King, Hendy, and then I have a lane swapped out for my Ladociel and then Goddesses in the back. So we're going to play a few matches and see how they stack up. So first match, here we go. Doke. Hopefully, we get a standard glue eater team right here. Oh, close enough. All right. So let's go ahead and apply our debuffs. I'm gonna go ahead and do King's debuff, and we will attack with Elaine and compare the two's attack. All right. Okay. Looks like this is a bot. That's fine. It's just a team rundown. Alright. Seems like she's pretty squishy. Henderson's gone, to be expected. Alright. Let's see if the dual powers of King and Elaine can take out their lost vein. So first we're gonna swing with Elaine, see how much damage we do with those three debuffs, then we'll swing with King, and then go on from there. So 23,000 damage, that was nothing. Especially compared to that 56,000. Man, I was not expecting such a low damage output. I was actually expecting like a little bit more That is not good at all. Alright. So let's go ahead and finish this match up. Let's try and take out the Ladociel. Hopefully Elaine can be able to do bigger damage to Gother, since they have hyper damages. Alright. So one thing's for sure, gotta make sure Ludo's taken care of. And then, gotta make sure Gother's taken care of as well. Ludo's gone, so let's see if these two debuffs are able to hurt. 25, man, that is... Oh, man. So if this one match right here doesn't show you that Elaine should be playing in the back and doesn't belong anywhere in the front lines, <laughs> I don't know what will. Oh, wow. It's just so sad. Man, I was not wrong when I said it's a downgraded version of King. There's just nothing going on for her. Like, if she could at least put out King's damage, that'd be something. But 
can't even do that. Alright. Can you make up for it? Gold card. 425% damage. Can you do it, Elaine? <laughs> it is what it is, boys. Let's hope this ult is able to at least kill Death Pierce. There we are. Okay. That, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. So. Yeah. Okay. Her ult did, did its job just fine. So. Let's go ahead and move on to another match. But this time, we will play my standard king team. But instead of Goddess Liz in the back, we will replace it with Ladozio. Or Elaine in the back. So let's put our boy Ladozio back up here. And. Elizabeth gear out now and run Medosios with him. So let's see if we can notice any like additional benefits to her passive with her being in the back. Just, you know, something at least. Alright, so let's go ahead and make sure everybody has gear set because it is important to have the highest CC you possibly can while running King Team. Alright, so just a reminder, her passive decreases pierce rate, crit chance, and crit damage for each um, effect on the enemy. So hopefully we're able to tank more damage with this team. So far I haven't seen much evidence of her passive helping extremely well, but hopefully this next match shows a little something more. Alright, cool beans. Team with no goddess Liz in the front, we will use that to our advantage and take out as many people as we can. Right. All right. So let's see how much damage we end up taking from their Serial. That's the kicker right now, or just a slap. It's really not that... I, I can't really tell too big of a di difference if it's making any, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I'll go ahead and take Serial out. Man, ju just from the spectacle alone, Elaine just seems like a very lackluster unit. Like, it doesn't seem like they're taking any less damage than they normally would. So, alright, hopefully I'm able to wipe their team out with all of this. 
I know it's weak point and she doesn't have any corrosion on her, but. Yeah, guys, you're uh, seeing it here. Um, the lane's not worth the trouble of investing in. And I managed to get her to 5 6 with full cosmetics and a pretty decent set of gear strapped to her as well. Definitely making this game drag on. Like, I just feel like it's better to run the safety of Goddess Liz in the back. Or in the front, for that matter. Because I know most people don't run Ladosio like I do. But... Should be game. But yeah, guys, if you even like sniffed at the idea of pulling on the new Elaine banner, like if the reason for you pulling for her is because you want her for like a fairy team or any of those other reasons, like just want to utilize her like that, I would say it's a no go. She's not worth. She's not a unit worth investing in, in PvP, or anything for that matter. Like, maybe she'll have some use in Training Cave, but I I don't see the appeal of her. So, like, the only reason I can tell you to pull on her is if you like the character. Because she, she does look good. I'll give her that, like, you know, the wings... Their nice design, everything along those lines, but she's just not worth the investment as a character. So yeah, guys, that was my PvP breakdown for the new Golden Wing Elaine. If you guys have any additional questions, uh, comment them in the comment section down below. I will get to as many of you guys as I can. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you're new for more content. I'll be posting videos just about every day. And, yep, yeah, that's about it. So, yeah, see you guys later. Peace.